Hi again, this is Rocket, and uh, we just showed you how to create an audio file and upload an audio file to your Traffic Geyser account. Now we're going to show you the other part of what you're going to need to make a video, which is to uh, generate some images and upload those, and then we're going to create a slideshow video with the audio file and the images. Okay, so I'm just going to um, walk through. The woman who left a message, her name is uh, Mariana Young, and I'm going to use her as an example. So if we go over here, here's her website, and um, uh, it's personalvaluecoaching.com, and here you can see a photo of her. So the easiest way to create a slide, in my opinion, is to use PowerPoint because it's so doggone easy. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is go over to our PowerPoint, and I just added a slide, and I'll just say, um, I'll put her name. And uh, let's see, maybe I'll say Traffic Geyser Testimonial. And put her name on here. And maybe put her domain on here as well, which would be easy to do. I can go up here and view it in my navigation toolbar so personalvaluecoaching.com all right go back over to our little mm -hmm. slide here paste this in and I usually like to capitalize the letters just to um, make it easier to read and maybe make them bold we can change the color and then um, what I usually like to do is I want to drive people back to my site. So I'm just going to create a little box down here and type in learn more at www.trafficgeyser.com. And I'm going to increase the size of this and make it bold as well. Center it. Maybe make hers a little bit bigger. Why not? Okay. Now I'm going to want to add her picture. Well, the easiest way to do this, I can just go back to our website and right-click on this, copy image, go back over to PowerPoint, paste it right up on top here, maybe increase the size so it shows up. Okay, now I've legitimized this whole thing. And um, the next step is we want to export this as a picture. Well, a lot of people don't know this, but you can export a picture out of PowerPoint simply by doing a save as and pick, um, let's see here, JPEG as our file format. And I'm going to just call this one Mariana. Yeah, the other option is to do a, a GIF if you're doing just text, right? You can do it either way. Um, it, it really doesn't matter. What I typically do is JPEG because I know it's uh, universally acceptable. And, and PowerPoint's going to come up and say, do you want to export every slide or the current slide? Well, just the current slide in this case. And I'm actually going to go over here and um, open this up. And let's just check it out and just see how that image looks. There it is. It'll blow up. And there we go. We've got ourselves a nice little slide image. Pretty easy. Only took us a moment. Now what we want to do is upload that. And as we went through earlier, we can either um, upload it with remote upload. We can email it by emailing it here and then approving it. But why don't we just do the remote upload? Uh, the local upload, I think. Or local yeah. upload. I'm sorry. Yes. So we give it a name. I'll say it's Mary Anna Young. Um, We'll call it, I always call these a badge, so I'm going to call it a testimonial badge. We'll explain more of why in a little while. And then I'm going to um, want to navigate over to this location. So I'm just copying that from here. I'm going to paste it. And um, there we go. There's the image. And I'll scroll down here and hit the upload button. And in just a few moments, it showed up. And from here, we're going to go in and we're going to wind up going in and creating a slideshow. And that's what we're going to illustrate next. Is there anything else we should cover? Up? No, I think that's it. Okay. Okay.